All right, I think it is time. Um, as far as I know, everything is connected up, except for this. That's a good. That's a good uh, reminder to triple check everything that is uh, connected or not connected to how it's supposed to be. So I am going to disconnect that and. I heard the doors locked when that happened, so interesting. Good thing I'm good thing I took a little break and I'm watching my going slow. You don't want to start this thing up when it's not supposed to be. So uh, or when something's not really hooked up correctly. So let's see. It's kind of ironic that I was just saying I've checked everything twice in the I'm pretty sure it was hooked up, but it turned out not to be, so that's good. That is not... I'm pretty sure this is supposed to go there, but it's not quite reaching. Oh, there it goes. happen to be the right wrench note. Need a socket wrench. Try that again. Don't see any smoke coming out again, so that's good. Suppose I should give it a quick once over underneath. light in there. It's good to take out. See anything over here? Here. Injectors are all plugged in. Although, for right now, it doesn't matter. Because the fuel pump's not plugged in, but nope, there is a fuel injector connector not quite seated. So that's good. Alright, I guess we now we try and start it up. Got my fire extinguisher right here. Try and prime the oil pump right now.
not getting any oil pressure in there. So I'm thinking I may need to prime it, which is unfortunate because that is a lot harder to do with the engine in the car. Uh, I suppose I should check, make sure I still got a good oil level. Yep. Hopefully I plug the oil pressure sensor in. Pretty sure I did, but... Let's see if we can make sure. Or I may not be able to reach it back here. I think I can. I am 99.99% .99 sure I plugged that in, so I'm going to assume it's not primed. Which really stinks. I can see the plug right there. So it may be be possible. I think I'm going to try a couple more pulls of this bar. I'm gonna have to pull the pull this wheel off and um, probably get it up on jack stands again to see if I can get access to that plug. And I need to get some hose, so be right back again. All right, so what's going on is I have not been able to prime the pump no matter how many times I crank the engine over. So there is a little uh, plug in the block that I took out, and it's way behind the. I think you can see it. It's way, way down in here, so it's really hard to get to. Um, and so I think the plan is to get a little hose, and I'm going to jam it in the hole and pour some oil down the hose and see if I can prime it that way. That seems to be what Melling, who is the company that makes the pump, says the best way to do it is. Um, obviously, it would have been easier if I did this when the engine was out of the vehicle. So if you do that, or if you're doing something like this, Make sure, make sure you don't forget that on this model engine. The old Chevys, you didn't have to do that. So um, here we go. I think I'm gonna try and feed it in from the top, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna feed it in from the bottom. I wonder if there's a way to get the. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to get the camera. Let me set it up. Okay. Camera's in sort of a maybe it has a chance of getting there. Let's see. Okay. Okay, still don't know how visible that's gonna be, but it might be fun. We'll try it.
pulled it on there and have someone pour it down there. Which may be what I end up doing. Actually, I can get some, get some uh, long, kind of long needle nose pliers. Let's see. If I can get it. <laughs> That may, have, that may have got it in there. <clears throat> Alright, I think I've got a plan. I have one of these little fuel, I think they're Earl's aluminum fuel fittings. And I found one that will kind of thread into my funnel. Oops. It's a little bit loose. Anyway, what I was going to try and do is get this maybe I should do that is get this fitting into this hose first uh, alright that's not going to work alright we're going to try this I found another fitting that's got a hose barb and I think the fitting is a dash 6 So, and I'm going to just try and seal it up with a little tape here if I can find the end there it is It's going to be really hard to get to stay on there. Just like I hate Bondo dust, I hate oil leaks too, so... <laughs> We're going to see if we can get this to not leak anything. Of course, it'll probably leak some down at the other end, but at some point i gotta, got to call good enough. Alright, it said, said maybe I'd need half a pint, and that is... Not quite half a pint, so I'll have to use another. I'll have to use another can of oil. Let's see if I can sit here and make sure it's not leaking on the ground. I don't see it leaking on the ground. to be doing good. So let's keep going. Alright, I think my uh, oil is not draining, or at least it's not visible in the funnel anymore, so I am going to kind of unwind this off. Now my fingers are stuck together. Fittings are really tough to get off hoses. And so let me get some pliers. So I think we just gotta figure out how to get that plug back in and we will be back in business. We'll find the plug first, it's here. And it's got some sealant on it, so I'm gonna have to go reapply that. Alright. Got some PTFE paste on there. I'm gonna put a drain pan underneath. Oops, looks like I dropped. Looks like I lost a bit anyway. So um, I need to find and show you what I had to do to get in there. Is I got my little eight millimeter bit, and I've got a little wobble joint, and it, I have to use the thin extension um, just to get in there it just barely reaches between a couple things and so um, and now it's dark and I'm gonna need a light to figure out how to get the okay, so I may need to try and reach up there and hand screw 
that fitting in or at least at least do it with the bit there just to get it started and then I can get the wrench down in there so I don't think that's very good filming so we'll stop that all right we are going to try again I got the oil plug back in um, didn't look like very much oil leaked out so I know there's some in the oil pump at least so uh, let's give this another try I don't know if we can see the oil pressure is right here and it's reading 40 with the key off but when I turn it on it should go to zero and let's see if we can there's nothing and I got high beams on for some reason and my battery is starting to die that figures <laughs> all right we may have to put this on a charger and yeah we need to put this on a charger all right back a little bit later all right i am back the next morning or i guess it's the afternoon now um i have had the battery on the charger all night long um, and I, earlier this morning, I came out and turned it over a few times just to see if I could get oil pressure to build up and got nothing. And then the battery was dying again. So I decided, um, before I go crazy taking things apart and checking stuff, um, I need to get the motor turning over faster, uh, and have a, a new, uh, enough juice to be able to turn it. And so, um, I, uh, removed the spark plugs just so there wouldn't be any resistance and compression in the motor, um, so that the the starter could turn faster before the battery died and so um i can show you what has happened now so here we got here's my fuel and there's the oil pressure gauge so we go zero and then watch it and it should go let's turn it off for a sec here I had fuel pressure just a second. Uh oh. Now I'm running out of batteries again. There it goes. Yay! So I got pressure. So that is good. So I think I can get everything buttoned up and then start it. I am very happy I didn't have to pull valve covers or do any weird stuff like that. So, um, good news. So, stay tuned. Alright, so the spark plugs are back in. Um, the battery says it's um, charged enough. And so, I think we are ready to get going. Uh, I'm going to turn the key on and, and off a few times just to prime the fuel. The, uh, the fuel pumps and hoses and things. I won't turn the engine over. And then once I'm confident that nothing's spraying out or... or a big problem we'll go ahead and, and try and give it a start so i'm going to take the battery off its charger put it down here started up very quickly. I've got about 58 psi of oil pressure. Um, I can see water in the coolant reservoir moving around so I got enough there. I'll probably let it run and um, maybe get any air bubbles and stuff out and then I'll drain that and put actual coolant in. And I think I'm just going to let this run for 10-15 minutes and warm up fully and then I'll shut it off and let it cool down. So, success! Awesome! Um, wait to get this thing back on the road so thanks a lot take care stay tuned